Victorious NTC fighters from the final battle of Libya's uprising have received a hero's welcome in Benghazi. Many local residents say that they saw them off when the fighters left for the front line. Now that they've returned, fighters have expressed a readiness to lay down their weapons for a better future. Andrew Dupuy has the story. Packed in cars and military vehicles, soldiers were met by a jubilant crowd as families tossed flowers and children sprayed jets of perfumed air onto the crowd. 27-year-old Benghazi fighter Ahmed al Shoedi says he hopes the young combatants will keep their promises of a weapon handover. God willing, we're going to collect all of those weapons from the hands of those guys. We have all agreed on this. I hope that everyone resumes their work again to achieve their goals. The country all in all will be good, because there's nothing that can push us backwards again. We're going forward. Local residents say they are convinced the fighters will hand over weapons. I'm certain they will give up their weapons once the fight is over. One brigade I hear has already made this pledge. Governments in the region have expressed concern over the abundance of unsecured arms in Libya, and the NTC has said securing the weapons is a priority. Less clear is how they plan to collect weapons from the nearly every household in the country. For now, however, weapons remain part of the celebration. Andrew Dupuis, CCTV.